you're confused about which specific quick draws you should pick up, then you're watching the right video. Because in this video I'll share my experiences with different quick draws and what purposes they are best suited for. And in the end of the video I'll also give a few tips about some specific quick draws that I can highly recommend. But before we dive into that, remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to receive more videos regarding rock climbing, alpine climbing and ice climbing around Europe and gear advice. But let's start by taking a look of what a quick draw is actually made of. A quick draw consists of two carabiners attached with a piece of webbing called a dog bone. The way that you would use a quick draw is that you would clip uh, one of the carabiners to the bolt or the piece of traditional gear that you are using for protection and the other carabiner to the rope. And should you then take a fall, the quick draw will catch you. But if you look even closer, there's actually a few things that people often neglect. First of all, you would like the carabiner that you clip the rope to to be as stiff as possible because this makes clipping much easier. And then you would like the carabiner that you clip into the bolt or the piece of protection uh, to be as loose as possible so it can move around to avoid rope drag as you do your climbing. And for that reason the rope end is often uh, supported by a small piece of rubber. And this actually makes it quite easy to identify which specific uh, carabiner is for the rope. And this leads to another very important thing that you should know. You should always clip the same carabiner to the bolt or the piece of protection. Because bolts can significantly damage the carabiners and create small sharp edges that eventually could damage your rope. So for that reason all the carabiners that I clip to the bolts are silver. But you can also use a piece of tape or maybe some paint to uh, identify which specific carabiner should go to the bolts. And this actually also has that side effect that you can easily identify your own quick draws from your friends. So quick draws comes in very different shapes and sizes. And let's take a look into that. So the simplest carabiner is the straight gate. The name kind of says it all. The gate is straight. You would usually use this for the bolt end because uh, clipping a straight gate is easier. For the rope end though you would probably use a bent gate. A bent gate is much easier for the rope to slide into and therefore makes clipping much more efficient. And for that reason, a lot of quick draws actually comes uh, with a bent gate and a straight gate. There's also some carabiners called wire gates. These are characterized with having the gate made of a thin wire. What you should know is that the wire gate opening is not as, uh, as strong as the more thick uh, bent gates, but they are very well suited for ice climbing because the surface contact to the rest of the carabiner is very uh, small, meaning that it will probably not ice up. And that is pretty handy. A feature that I would highly recommend that you're looking for, that is key locking. Key locking carabiners prevents the uh, carabiner to uh, get caught by your harness or the rope or maybe the bolt as you unattach the carabiner again from the bolts. And carabiners that do not have the key locking feature looks like a small hook. An additional thing to consider when choosing your quick draws, that's the length of the dog bone. With a longer dog bone you avoid rope drag because the rope doesn't zigzag as you do your climbing. Um, but a longer dog bone is also heavier. I would recommend avoiding the very short 12 cm quick draws because um, having that extra length really really helps on avoiding rope drag. 
and rope drag is definitely something you would like to avoid on longer sport climbing routes. For traditional climbing or ice or alpine climbing, I would actually recommend having extendable slings uh, as your dog bone instead of traditional dog bone. With an extendable sling, you can easily extend the quick draw up to whatever length you feel comfortable. I climb with a 60 cm sling that I can fold together to shorten up the quick draws as I do my climbing and then extend them um, when needed to. So what to choose? Well, I guess that depends on what type of climbing you would like to do. For sport climbing, I would highly recommend more durable, uh, probably heavier quick draws that you can pull in if you do some heavy projecting. While on ice climbing and alpine climbing, weight definitely becomes a factor. So the Black Diamond Positron is a really great all-rounder. This is a quick draw that is really well suited for someone who is looking for their first set of quick draws. And they are pretty strong and they are fairly light. And cheap too. Personally, I carry the DMM Phantom and the DMM Spectra, uh, which is a really lightweight wire gate uh, quick draw. I use that mainly for alpine climbing and ice climbing. They are quite easy to handle with uh, big uh, gloves um, and you can build your own extendable quick draws. For harder sport climbing where you do a lot of projecting, I would really recommend something like the DMM uh, Alpha Sport that has a super durable uh, dog bone and a lot of well thought through uh, features for hard sport climbing. Such as a straight gate that's optimized for clip sticks, a big dog bone that you can really pull in and a bent gate where the rope just slides perfectly into. They are quite heavy though and also quite expensive. So if you enjoyed watching this video, remember to hit the like button below and also remember to leave a comment below if you have any questions regarding what specific quick draws to pick up.